Good evening and uh, welcome to the City of Somerset Energy Center. Uh, my name is Mike Perrell. I'm a captain with the Somerset Police Department and I'm the public information officer for the agency. Uh, two horrific events have happened in our community in the last couple weeks and today uh, they came to a little bit of a culmination together. One that we laid to rest, uh, the father of one of our brothers this afternoon and another that we've got some uh, significant updates and a horrific crime that's rocked this community. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming out, and at this time I'll turn it over to Mayor Gerler for your comments. Thank you. I'm Eddie Gerler, Mayor of the City of Somerset, and on behalf of the City of Somerset, uh, the County, and the Commonwealth, I would like to say that we do appreciate the Somerset Police Department, uh, the Police Chief Hunt for and his officers and detectives for all that they have done for our community. Uh, sometimes we don't realize how hard they work and how hard that they represent our citizens to make us safe and secure in, in this great city. Um, as mayor, I know a, any type of crime that results in bodily injury or death is bad for everybody. And we want justice served and we do everything possible. So on behalf of the city of Somerset and our entire community, we wish to lift up our uh, Police Chief Hunt, uh, the detectives, the officers, the county, uh, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, KSP, and several other states in wanting to work with us so that for the family, uh, justice will be served. And again, on behalf of the city, uh, we extend our condolences to the family and hope that we've done everything within the power that we can uh, to bring justice uh, and satisfaction in terms of uh, this type of crime. So again, uh, hopefully that we have uh, your confidence and we hope to have the confidence of the public that indeed any crime of this nature will be dealt with severely, quickly, and efficiently uh, by the, one of the greatest police departments and law enforcement agencies, uh, both city, county, and in this commonwealth. So thank you, and I'll now turn it back over. At this time, I'd like to introduce our chief, William Hunt, uh, to explain uh, the situation, the new developments in the, uh, in the investigation. Good evening. Um, we come to you tonight with some new information. Uh, I'd also like to kind of catch us up to speed. Uh, as you're aware, yesterday we did make an arrest of Dwight Mitchell Bell for the felony theft of Miss Ruthie Carolyn New's vehicle. This was uh, achieved by uh, Detective Patterson, who is the lead detective of the case, which is standing here. Detective Patterson got a lead yesterday uh, that he followed up on that led him to Cock County, Tennessee, where he contacted the sheriff's office in that area. Through their investigation with the information we gave them, they then began, uh, contacted Danridge Police Department in Tennessee, which is a, adjacent to them. Because of the information we gave them and through their investigation efforts, we were able to locate Mr. Bell at that time where he was arrested for the felony theft warrant. Uh, while Danridge Police Department was arresting Mr. Bell, our detectives had already been on the, on the road for about two hours heading to Tennessee because we were sending them there to help with this investigation. Once they arrived, they did begin an interview with uh, Mr. Bell. When our detectives, Detective Matthew Gates, which is here, and Detective Patterson concluded their interview with Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell did end the interview with a confession to the murder of Ruth Lee Carolyn New and the robbery of her. Um, at this time, Mr. Bell has been transported back to the Pulaski County Detention Center, where he is now, uh, which is here in Somerset, Kentucky. Uh, he has been charged with a uh, district court warrant for murder, robbery first, and we've also charged him with a fugitive from another state, and that is related to the Newcastle, Indiana warrant. At this time, for the murder and robbery first charges, Mr. Bell has no bond at all. Um, 
Throughout this investigation, it has been very lengthy. Uh, I would like to read off a few departments and agencies that helped us along with this investigation just to say thank you and to recognize them. The Pulaski County Major Crimes Task Force, which is comprised of the Somerset Police Department, the Kentucky State Police, the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, and the Pulaski County Coroner's Office, have been an absolute asset to this case. Uh, we could not do the investigation we do without their help and their resources, and we are truly thankful to them. Uh, Kentucky State Police Post 11 uh, was the state police that is part of the Major Crimes Task Force. In addition to them is our Commonwealth uh, Attorney's Office, Eddie Montgomery, and his detectives, uh, who Detective David Guppy is here to our left, who's assisted on this case as well. Kentucky State Police Post 11, the Kentucky State Police Crime Lab, Lexington Metro uh, Police Department, their Criminal Investigation Division, the U.S. Marshal Service, the Kentucky Office of the Inspector General, the Wayne County Sheriff's Office, Kentucky, Monticello Police Department, Kentucky, Newcastle, Indiana, PD, Indianapolis Metro, PD, Lawrence County, Indiana Sheriff's Office, uh, Sulphur Springs, Indiana Town Marshal, Cincinnati, Ohio Police Department, Danridge, Tennessee Police Department, Cock County, Tennessee Sheriff's Office. Also, another big thank you is to the businesses and this community of Somerset. The, this community has supported and rallied behind us throughout this investigation, and we have went to numerous businesses in this community who has assisted us in any way they possibly could during this investigation. And I would like to say thank you to them. A good example of that is social media. There can be good points and there can be bad points to social media, but a good point to it is when we put out a post in regards to this investigation and we ask for help, this county has about 60,000 or a little over 60,000 people in this county. Our post was shared 786,554 times. That's when the community really got behind us and helped us with this case. Also, I'd like to thank the brothers and sisters of the Somerset Police Department. I have watched these officers work tirelessly throughout this investigation. I've watched them make phone calls to their families and their significant others and explain to them why they could not be home and they would not be home till after they were in bed. Uh, I would like to thank every one of them from our patrolmen that have assisted to our supervisors, uh, our command staff which consists of our captains and our criminal investigation division have done an awesome, awesome job. One other guy that probably deserves more recognition than anybody is our lead detective Larry Patterson. I have to say Larry Patterson put his heart and soul in this case. I have watched him put countless hours into this case and he's done everything he could to get to where we are today. And I'm very proud of him and, and thankful for his dedication to this family. At this time, I'm gonna turn the uh, press release back over to Captain Correll. Thank you. This will be the close of the press briefing for the evening. Uh, we're not going to entertain any questions in regards to the case right now because it is an ongoing case and we need to uh, do our due diligence to continue the process of prosecuting Mr. Bell. Uh, I will be available at a later date. Uh, you all have my information. You can contact me then. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Joe.